Welcome to a brand new series where we are going to create a clone of the popular streaming service Twitch. So let's get started. So I am in my terminal. So let me make a directory here which is known as streams. Then let me cd to it and I will do npx create react app not this create react app just a client folder inside it so it is done so let's start our project let's go to client folder where our react app is installed and do a npm start let me also open it I don't want it in um, uh, Chrome I want it in Firefox so let me open it here and uh, let me go to the folder and open it in my code editor which is VS Code so it's open let me take it to a different desktop uh, let me increase the size also then in the src directory our whole react project is there let me come here let me delete everything then in the src let me create the index.js and in the src only create a new folder components and inside the components a new file app.js and in the uh, index let me import react first import react dom from react dom then import app from components app then react dom dot render app comma document dot query selector hash root so as you know this hash root is there in the index.html this hash root so he, the whole react project will be rendered here only we have created a new file app.js inside the components folder let's do uh, rafc for the shortcut and uh, it will create a arrow based functional component for us let me write here app is rendered and uh, export default app let me save it if everything is right it will render the app oh let me refresh it yeah app is rendered so everything is working so uh, now we need to install react router because we are soon going to use uh, have different routes and use it so let me go to my terminal stop what is running and let me do npm install yeah it is already coming for me that's that shape react router dom so it is getting saved let me come back and after that 
we have to create a folder known as streams which i have already created actually and inside that there will be five files let me show the content the uh, files name will be stream create dot js stream delete stream edit stream list and stream show so right now they are only the code is only holder code means we are soon going to change it so they're like this a stream create just a uh, simple functional component is there stream create stream delete stream edit stream list and stream show let me close them uh, let me see if our npm install is done it is done let me do a npm start again so it is starting and it will okay so it started uh, now what we will do we will go to our app.js and import all those uh, files that stream create and edit files and show it here so in our app.js we have just installed react router dom so we will do import browser oh, browser router comma route from react router dom then let me import those five files import stream create from streams stream create it's not a stream edit a stream create let me go copy it four times stream create after that stream edit after that stream delete after that stream list after that stream show so let me change them also stream create stream delete stream list and stream show so coming back here inside we need to wrap everything with browser router then inside this there will be an div then we will use the route which we have just imported imported from react router down this route the route path equal to this is a home route ex exact we have to give component equal to stream list we are going to show all the list of the streams in the home page so let me do that then let me copy it four times so the second one will be streams create and it will have it will have this stream create third one will be let me do this much only streams streams edit delete and show so edit is this one delete is this one the moment we use use it it becomes bright because we are using the variable stream show so everything is bright now so 
we are done let now go back and see whether it is working why it is not working yeah it is working let me go to a root let me copy this and let me go here it is working let me check one more root edit yeah it is also working let me come back also now what we we are going to do we are going to create the nav bar for and for the nav bar we are going to create a new file header.js inside the components only so here only header dot chase let me do a rfc again a functional component then export default header yeah it is right and then import link from react router dom and import header dot css actually i have already created the css file let me show you so the already the creation has been done so we have a header wrapper header title and other links which we are soon going to create and that thing fancy we are sh showing everything with the display flex and some font size and font width and text shadow is there but this is the main code so let us make it so in the header this first div will contain the class name equal to this the header wrapper so this is the thing which gives it the flex thing so after that div we will have two divs two, two sibling divs one class name equal to let me again go back to the header or css it is header title and here we will use the link now link to the home root streamer and this div will have the class name of let me see what's the class name is the class name is other links let me copy it let me paste it here also for a timing we'll have the same link same sort of link which will go to the home but let us give it give it a different name all streams so let me save it and uh, since our css is done but there is it should show but uh, there is one thing how it will show because we have not yet imported it here in app.js so let me put it here header import header from header not streams header so let me save it if it is done yeah i had a nice header with a nice yellow color it's done so this completes the part one of the series hope you liked it